everyone, Emilou here. Today I want to show you how to do a red robin. I absolutely love red robins. I just think they're so wonderful. And um, they're quite simple to do actually. I did a blue tip and I think a yellow tip perhaps um, in my other videos. So just check those out. But this is like super easy, this one. We're going to do a cookie. So you need a piece of paper, landscape with a pencil. And you're going to just do a, a cookie. And then on the top, a bit like a snowman, but you're going to do it from this side. Just going to do a round circle. If you're not quite sure how to draw circles, just go over them more than once, like once, and then be like, yeah. So it's really super easy. And then all you have to do is connect them. So connect this to here, and then you're going to connect this to here. And then you want to rub out whatever's inside, but we don't need to do it right now. Then I want to do a beak. So we're just going to touch about there, go in, do a little line. You could probably do this if you want, but you don't really need to. So just think a beak with a big eye. So it tends to have quite a large eye. I'm going to colour the eye in and leave a little, little white bubble. Can you see a tiny little white bubble? Then I'm going to do the wing. So you want to touch probably about there. And you're going to go down and then this way. So just think of it like a big wing. Then coming out from the wing about here, you're going to go up, then round, then join up. That was quite tricky if you're not quite sure. So from here, down, up like a carrot round and then join up just give it a go try and see if you can do it and then this is too round for his back so we're just gonna go just gonna do that and we're gonna rub out quite a bit in a minute <laughs> and then you've got a cute little leg which goes about here just a little leg another little leg i mean we've nearly done it believe it or not then we're gonna do i'm gonna do them really super simple and we've got a tree that he's standing on. This is more chunky, but don't worry too much. Okay, so we're standing on the, the tree, the twig. And then you can do a little thing there. Just do like a leaf there if you want. And then a little leaf there. It's up to you, you don't need to put the leaf in. Right, what I want to show you is we have to rub out. So get your rubber. And we're just going to rub out this bit, rub out this bit. There's quite a bit of rubbing out, if I'm honest. It's really cool when you've rubbed it out. Looks strange for me because you can still see the line. But yours will look really awesome. Okay, so once you've rubbed out, we're going to colour it in. Now, we can work out where it's different colours but I'm just going to go straight into it and I'm going to get my chalk pastels so hang on I'm just going to try and find it so here's my chalk pastels they're a little bit messy <laughs> and we're going to start off with a red now it's a red breast robin so red and orange and we're going to do if I'm honest it's still wet so let's not do red and orange yet let's go to brown Got a brown, two browns. If you've got paint, that's fine, but I'm going to use chalk. So you want to outline the wing. Just don't want to go up too much yet because I don't want to. I don't want it to get wet with the tipex I just put. It's nearly dry, isn't it? You won't have that problem. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this bit brown. Don't worry if it looks a bit strange. Light brown, just a bit here. And then grey. I'm going to get a grey, a nice light grey. Don't need to get the grey if I'm honest, but quite nice right then red and orange or orange and red should I say 
I'm going to just do a nice orange there. And then to make it look really amazing, we do red on top. But it doesn't have to be the whole of him. I would say probably that much. About there. Now at the moment, you can't see much because you haven't put much detail in. Just done brown little feet. So I'm going to smudge now. This is when it starts to come to life. You want to make sure the red and the orange look really cool. Because I've used the Tip X, which you don't use, it's hard to see, isn't it, the finished thing. But can you see the way it's blended? It just looks really nice. The beak can be like a, a brown. And do you know what? The twig! The twig could be a cool green, can't it? With like... I'm doing this... <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this super fast today, but I think it's because chalk tends to be quite quick to use. Now, I'm going to smudge that. But you want to just make sure that it's exactly what you want. And you want to get some black. So, I'd go over my eye. Black makes everything sort of stand out. Can you see the eye? It looks kind of cool. And I'd probably just add, you know, some lines of his wing. Kind of like doing a dot there. There's some shadow under here. So you don't need to add much black. Like, subscribe and share if you like the robin. In time for Christmas at some point. Um, if it's not as bright as you'd like it, you can get some yellow and really go around here, make it nice and bright. But ultimately you want it to be a red breasted robin. So red, you can make this stand out by getting some white. And you could just do white in the eye and just add detail in there. But that is literally your robin. Ignore all of this, obviously because it's my Tipex, so it's not got anything to do with it. Oh, there we are. <laughs> so yes, see what, see what you come up with. I love drawing robins, I've painted so many. So just see what you come up with. I would probably outline the twig in a dark green and then maybe outline this as well, just so it looks really cool. If you're doing paint, that's brilliant. Whatever works for you. So show me your pictures, let me know how you get on and I will see you soon.